A flamboyant aristocrat and confidant of Princess Margaret is said to have stolen land to create his very own love island. The late Lord Glen Connor was renowned for transforming the Caribbean island of Mustique into a playground for the rich and famous including the likes of Mick Jagger, before later retiring to nearby St. Lucia with a pet elephant. After a long legal battle following the death eight years ago of his master Colin Tennant Kent I was rewarded with his multi-million pound fortune. The wrangling over the estate of Princess Margaret's old friend began when Lord Glenconner died in 2010, aged 83, and it emerged he had left everything to Adonai. But the legacy was contested by the aristocrat's family, who claimed he had not been of sound mind when he rewrote his will. Share this article Share the case between Lord Glenconner's grandson and heir to the title, Cody Tennant, 24, and Adonai was settled earlier this month in the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court. However it has since emerged that which he says was stolen from him 30 years ago by Lord Glenconner. He is set to challenge Mr. Adonai in the courts and has made a public appeal to Cody from Edinburgh to make amends for his grandfather by returning his part of the contested plot. Mr. Jacques had been running a guest house and restaurant in Morne La Croix when he let a house to Lord Glenconner. He claims that both Tennant and Mr. Adonai trashed the four-bedroom home which is now in ruins. Speaking to the Times, Mr. Jacques said, I curse that family for what Colin Tennant did to me. But now has a change to do the right thing. They broke windows, doors, the balcony. Items of furniture went missing. The whole place was trashed. I was duped 100%. I believe they were deliberately trying to depreciate the value of the property because he wanted to purchase it himself. He was grotesque. He was a powerful white man who was worshipped. Neither Lady Anne Glenconner, his widow, nor Cody Tennant could be reached for comment.